My name's Alison. Um, basically, the first few decades of my life, I was in a religious cult. I got out of court and I spent 10 years on drugs, just to escape. I couldn't deal with feeling anything, so drugs was wonderful for that. And it's been about two and a half years since I've got off it, but I'm still really shut down and just after spending entire, an entire life on repressed, I just don't know how to get into my feelings. It's just too scary. Yeah. And I, I guess, like as I've been sitting here, I've been feeling a lot of grief over the 10 years of my life that I wasted. It's literally a third of my life that I basically can't remember. The way you are now it is that you want to do it differently. Yeah. yeah. So that's a good thing. But let's look at, so how old are you now? 32. 32. And you say you were in a religious cult, so that means that your parents probably brought you to that. Oh, and they're still in it. All right. So what's the religion? Do you um, do two by two, if you've heard of it. Two by two, it's cool. Yeah. It's one of the colloquial It's right. so fabulous, it doesn't even have a name. Ah, uh, okay. Now, it was a, a Christian type of poem? Yeah. yeah. And what was the feelings you had during it, like, when you were there? Oh, absolute repression. Yeah. Of every feeling inside of you. Not just that, of, of my personality. Yeah. I couldn't... I couldn't be me. Yeah. And even now, you know, I've, I've never been able to show my parents who I am. So, when, when they... Uh, when you... When you wanted to be who you are, and they shut you down. How did they shut you down? Expectation. You just weren't allowed to do things. So if you didn't, what would you do? What would happen to you? That oh, was just my guilt thing. Towards God? Um, or towards them? Them projecting guilt onto me. Yeah. That you're not making them happy? Yeah. It? Yeah. And also that you're not making God happy? No. No? So no. mostly it was about them being happy. Yeah. Um, so uh, with all of this guilt that's there, uh, you feel some really deep fear. Yeah. Now. So what, what are you afraid of? Can you tell us a bit of what are you afraid of? Okay. Why are you afraid of being happy? What's going to happen? What do you think will happen if you feel your feelings? It's going to hurt. But then having repressed my feelings for so long, I don't know what's actually going to happen if I feel them. Okay. Repressing them is hurt too, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the sort of place you're in now. You feel that repressing them hurts, feeling them hurts. It's best not to do anything. Yep. But something's drawing you into doing something, isn't it? Does that make sense? 
to allow yourself to get into the sadness if you're expressing it. So when you get into the anger, feel the anger. The problem with anger is you could stay in it the rest of your life. So you don't want to do that either, right? Huh? You don't want to use anger as an addiction, just like, you know, we use drugs as an addiction before. So, but we want to actually express the anger because it's been suppressed. So it needs to be experienced and felt. So let yourself feel it and let yourself go to that little place in, the, in, your, in your yard or whatever and just let yourself experience it completely. But also ask yourself what you're afraid of every time you're angry. And then write about that when you come out of that anger. Does that make sense? And what will happen is when you write about it, you will start acknowledging and opening up parts of your soul that are holding the grief. And there's quite a bit of grief to feel. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like you're going to quite a bit of grief. Are you allowed to stay with parents? <laughs> are, you, are you allowed to yeah, stay with parents? Yeah, well, what you do is you make a cardboard cut out of your parents. Right? And do it that way. But don't stab your parents, no. You, you'll get into trouble with that, you know. That, you? You'll get into trouble with God then. And also. But if you've got the emotion in you where you really feel you'd like to stab them, to let to express that in a safe way, it's gotta be done. Yeah. God can handle anything you can throw at him. Yeah. So when you feel angry with God, express it directly to God. When you're still sad about God not being around for you during this cult thing, express that to God too. So this is part of this is about opening up to God. You find that when you do open up to God, you'll be able to also express your emotions a lot more too. Yeah. At the moment there's just a big fear in you. That, that there's this, you, the fear is that there's this huge mess inside and you'll never get to the bottom of it. But the truth is that you will get to the bottom of it quite rapidly when you let yourself feel the fear that you feel about it. Because actually what I can feel and you and Mary can feel it too is you have the capacity of experiencing your emotions quite well. I also have the capacity to shut myself down really well. Well, everyone who has the capacity to experience quite well generally also has a good capacity to shut down quite well too. But that, that's been a problem. I'll start to feel it and then bang, no, I can't go there. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I can't go there, straight away, like, write about why you can't go there. Does that make sense? Let yourself feel about why you can't go there. It, and I said yesterday to, it, to everyone that this process is a lot about undoing the blockages to feelings. You actually have a very sensitive soul and you will actually feel very well once you start. The problem is, is just undoing the blockages that have been placed there by your parents and, and you know, this abusive environment that you lived in. Does that make sense? And it's the key is just allow yourself to keep plugging away at these blockages and seeing what the fears are and then allowing yourself, and one of those blockages is not allowing yourself to feel anger, as Mary pointed out. So allow yourself to experience the 